Now, if the controller is not working with the game, the first step is to simply restart your computer. Just restart your computer and after the system restart, try launching the game. Now, the next step is to enable or disable the Steam input. Now, for this, go to Steam, then make a right click on the game. I don't have the game on Steam right now, so I'll show you with different game. So, go to Steam and then make a right click on the Outlast Trials game. And once you make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the controller tab and then over here select enable steam input option and then launch the game and then check if that does not work again make a right click on the game and then this time select disable steam input so first of all try enable steam input if that does not work you can disable steam input and then you can check now the next step is to now this is for PlayStation controller users. Try using DS4 Windows. So in the Google you can search for DS4 Windows and you can install this application or you can install REWST application and then you can configure your controller and then check. Next step is to disable Steam input. Now go to Steam controller settings and enable, enable Steam input. Now for this again go to Steam make a right click on the game. Now, once you make a right click on the game, you have to disable the Steam input. So this is just an example. Go to controller tab and then disable Steam input. And once this is done, go to Steam on the top, click on Steam and then go to settings and then go to controller tab. And if you have Xbox controller, in that case, enable Steam input for Xbox controller. Now, if you have PlayStation controller, you can enable Steam input for PlayStation and then check. Now, the next step is to make sure that you disconnect other peripherals such as mouse, keyboard. If you can, you can connect mouse and keyboard uh, once you uh, get your controller working. This is totally optional. If you have additional joystick or controller connected to the computer, sometimes we have additional controller connected or USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect all the additional USB adapter if you have uh, VR headset or Windows Mixed Reality headset connected, you can disconnect it. Disconnect any additional USB adapter which you're not using. If you have any kind of virtual controller connected, you can disable it or, or you can uninstall it and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to launch the stream in big picture mode and then launch the game. So on the top right here, you can see the big picture mode. I can click on it. Now, you once you are in the big picture mode, uh, you can find the game over here and then you can launch the game from here. If that does not work, you can click on the game. This is just an example. Click on the game and over here, click on the settings icon. And then you can go to properties, go to the controller tab and then enable steam input. So enable steam input. If that does not work, you can even try to disable it and then check. Now the next step is to use wired controller so if nothing is working use you can connect your controller using the usb cable and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel